welcome to episode 4 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect Certification In-Depth Training Podcast brought to you by Bright Flux. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim, a certified Snowflake user, and today we're diving deep into the world of Snowflake object parameters, an indispensable part of mastering Snowflake. For starters, let's unravel the concept of object parameters within Snowflake's ecosystem. These parameters are essentially settings or options that you can configure on various Snowflake objects such as databases, schemas, tables, and warehouses to control their behavior and characteristics. Understanding these parameters is crucial because they can significantly impact the performance, security, and cost management of your Snowflake environment. Firstly, we'll explore warehouse level options. Warehouse parameters allow you to adjust the size, scaling policies, and resource monitoring of your virtual warehouses. Additionally, and rather intriguingly, you can manipulate these settings to optimize query performance and manage compute costs effectively. For instance, perhaps you're considering scaling your warehouse up or down based on workload. This is where understanding warehouse sizes from extra small to 4 XL becomes paramount. Moreover, utilizing auto suspend and auto resume options can help in cost savings by automatically pausing unused warehouses. Next, let's shift our focus to database and schema parameters. These settings, for the most part, include options like data retention time, which dictates how long historical data is stored before being automatically purged, and cloning options, which enable the rapid creation of database or schema copies without duplicating data. Consequently, these parameters not only ensure operational efficiency, but also bolster data governance practices. Lastly, when delving into table and view parameters, it becomes apparent that features such as clustering keys and data retention play a significant role in performance tuning and managing storage costs. Clustering keys, for example, allow you to organize the data within a table in a way that can dramatically reduce query times. Perhaps equally important, setting a retention period for your tables ensures that you're not incurring additional storage costs for obsolete data. Additionally, we must not overlook the significance of security-related parameters like network policies, managed access, and row access policies. These settings empower you to safeguard your data, ensuring that only authorized users have access to sensitive information. Also, it's fascinating to note the flexibility Snowflake offers in managing these parameters, enabling a bespoke environment tailored to your organization's needs. In conclusion, mastering Snowflake object parameters is a pivotal step towards becoming a Snowflake Snow Pro Advanced Architect. As we've navigated through the various parameters and their impacts, remember, a thorough understanding and strategic configuration of these settings can lead to optimized performance, stringent security, and cost effectiveness in your Snowflake environment. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will explore Snowflake security and access control mechanisms in depth. Thanks for listening and I wish you great success in your certification journey. Goodbye for now.